this is the new Coolpad Note 3 Lite. Hi, this is Hardik Singh and this is our detailed review of the Coolpad Note 3 Lite. So, let's jump right into it. The Coolpad Note 3 Lite is just like the original Coolpad Note 3. For the most part, you know, the build quality of the Note 3 Lite is quite good. The phone carries forward a simple candy bar design. The phone also gets a chrome strip which runs around the edge of the smartphone. This review unit we have here has a light gold polish to it as well. And if you have noticed, this is a 5 inch display which makes the phone quite ergonomic to hold. In comparison, the original Coolpad Note 3 was a bit unwieldy thanks to the 5.5 inch display it had. A welcome addition to the mix is the new textured back which gives the phone a very nice grip. The button position also remains unchanged with the power button on the right side and the volume rocker on the left side and they both give appropriate feedback with pressed. Talking about the display, the Coolpad Note 3 Lite has a 5 inch panel as I mentioned. This is a 720p display, so this is 1280 by 720p. This is an IPS panel, so the color vibrance and saturation is quite good. Sunlight legibility hasn't been improved from the original Coolpad Note 3, but in my experience, it definitely seems better. Talking about the similarity between Coolpad Note 3 and the Note 3 Lite, the UI hasn't changed either. The UI is filled with bright icons as you can see and remains simple as well. There is a fingerprint scanner at the back of the smartphone which is undoubtedly one of the best we have come across. It is fast, it is accurate and lets you unlock the phone in any orientation. And the similarities don't end here as the phone still has the Explorer keyboard which we don't like. Coming to the performance, MediaTek seems to be the choice of SoC for budget phones. The MT6735, which beats inside the Coolpad Note 3, was also there on the two phones which we saw earlier in the 7K smartphone segment, the Mizu M2 and the Acer Liquid Z530. On the Note 3 Lite, however, this 1.3GB score SoC turns out some great performance for the money and it's able to keep up with most tasks required from the smartphone. Using the phone as a daily driver, we found that it could handle daily tasks such as calling, video watching, surfing and even multiple page surfing. I even tried browsing the web while streaming music in the background and found out the phone worked fine. Gaming performance is also quite good and the phone can still easily handle less demanding games. The phone lags slightly with graphically intensive games but nothing which can't be overseen at this price. Coolpad has optimized both the SoC and the 3GB RAM well, the phone never felt like a budget offering. The same cannot be said about the rear speaker, which felt muffled. However, the sound quality via the headphones is the best in the category and definitely louder. As we move to the back, we see a 30 mm MP shooter, which isn't great though. Images taken in normal lighting conditions have oversaturation and while they look good on the phone's display, they look pixelated on a larger display. Images quality further deteriorates in low light conditions. There is a lot of visible noise which makes images in dim light conditions sometimes unusable. The front facing camera does a decent job in outdoor light conditions but produces average images in low light. While the battery on the Coolpad Note 3 Lite is small but today's standard at just 2500 mAh, the phone can easily last you one day. In our normal battery test where we loop a 1080p Full HD video on loop until the battery dies, the phone was able to stay up for 12 hours, which is pretty good considering the price point and specs on offer. Using the phone as a daily driver with minimal gaming, the battery lasted till sundown, but you will need to plug in before you hit the bed. Gaming however does consume the battery rather quickly, in an hour of gaming on the Coolpad Note 3 Lite, I lost about 20% of the battery. The phone does have a very good standby time and offers faster charging as well. Bottom line is, the Coolpad Note 3 Lite is undoubtedly one of the best phones in the sub-7K smartphone category. It has a good build, a nice orthodox design, the display is good, the performance is reliable and the battery is more than capable of lasting you for a day. You can even get a fingerprint sensor at the 7K price point. What the phone lacks is a good camera. Coolpad has done a fabulous job with the Note 3 Lite but I would like to see more Google apps preloaded on the smartphone, especially the Google Keyboard. If a good camera is not your priority, then Coolpad Note 3 Lite is the phone to buy in the sub-7K smartphone segment. However, if a camera on the smartphone is important to you in this price segment, then Mizu M2 might be the phone to consider. So how did you like the review? 
leave us a comment in the comment section below and for more tech videos subscribe to digit.in and go to our website digit.in